to the channel. This is the new PvE content, Legendary Reliquary, Sword and Gauntlet Passage, uh, or some may refer to as the Chamber of Arms. This is a permanent content, so if you can't clear it right now, don't worry about it, you can always come back later. Uh, and the first phase or the first release batch is going to be the Plus Sword and the Genji Glove. Both very amazing equipments. Uh, this works kind of like Tower, where there are five stages, if I remember correctly. One, two, three, four, five. And as you will see, wave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to ten. So each clearing each stage will grant you those drops. Which you will need for maxing both equipments. Um, you can you have to set up five parties. Now you don't have to bring ten units, but if you can clear this with less than ten units, power to you. Uh, and obviously, each party can only use their unique equipments, trust stone, uh, esper, vision part, and such. So that means that this is going to be a little bit tougher for a new account because you probably don't have ten espers built up, you don't have ten VCs, etc., etc., etc. So. Don't fret, this is a permanent content, so you can always come back. Can't change initial placement. Uh, and just like tower, you know, HP, AP, and ability count uses will carry over. So as an example, if you end the battle with 10 AP, uh, next battle you're starting with 10 AP. So there is a little bit of resource management there. Same concept with ability uses. If you have an ability that has 10 uses and you use five of them in stage one, then you only have five left starting at stage two. And this line is very important here. The attempt ends once all the parties are defeated and or their action counts reach zero. So each party here, so party one, party two, has 65 actions and waiting and not doing anything also counts as an action. Once, say for example, party one, I'm on for five, for six, and I run out of actions, then party one essentially disappears and party two swoops in with 65 actions again. So that means in 130 turns, give or take, you gotta finish all 10 waves. And what happens if you die? Well, party one dies, party two comes, party two dies, then you die. So these are the stats for the Plus Sword and Genji Glove. And you may ask, well, which one should I max first if I can't finish all 10 towers, uh, all 10 floors? My opinion is that Genji Glove is a little bit more unique compared to Plus Sword because Sword is everywhere. Um, there's also a lot of bestow of abilities on the recent release units with swords like Runester, Bradley and the such. So I feel like Blood Sword is a slightly easier to replace. 15% health drain is not a lot, um, but there will be uses for Blood Sword for some other people. Um, and then there's difficulty and strategy hints. I would say for even a brand new account, one to five is probably doable. I don't know, um, if that's enough for you to craft, fully craft one of the pieces. But my recommendation for the earlier, the first half is don't worry too much about these light and earth and fire and magic attack. Don't worry about too much about that. I mean, some of them are fairly resistant to some some attack types, but it's not crazy. Um, the only thing I would say for the first five floors is this part. Overcome the map's height by using units with a high jump count, abilities, and a, uh, a height range. So, there's a lot of height elevations on 4, four and 5, wave 4 and 5, uh, so do keep that in mind. Starting wave 6 and 7, there's going to be carbuncles all over the place, so you are going to need some attacks that cannot be reflected. So, slash attack is very popular here, and that's what I see most people using. And wave 8 to 10 is really just a ton of slash attacks and uh, bring a little bit of resistance for Confusion and Frostbite, whether that be in the form of Calamity Stronghold, like I have with Marshery, or if you have some other, some other means of combating that. So this is my setup. Uh, I'll quickly show you what my setup looks like. There's really no thought into this other than I went for maximum firepower if I can, um, and obviously agility and stuff. I'm not doing the self-imposed no limited noble cost one in the challenge here, because I, I can't bother with that anymore, at least not for this type of content. So we will see how this goes, and hopefully I'm able to beat this. I'm sure someone can do that whole MR only challenge, but that's not... Like I want a challenge, but I don't want to not have fun.
So I've devised a way to maximize Yuffie's mobility with move plus one, so that next turn she'll come over here and kill these guys while having one unit, you know, in this case Roy, do a massive AoE to kill three wolves, so I don't have to spend two turns killing three wolves. Not anything mind blowing, but you know, it's something. It's things like these that we can work towards. And if you're not doing anything, try to limit your movements, you know. Uh, not limit your movements, like do more things so you move slower. Usual general mode B. So now I'm all the way here, and again, because if I didn't have move plus one, then I'd be stuck here, ish, right? And I can't, and I gotta spend another turn, if not more turns. So this is a quick finish. It does use us more AP than I hope, but the but the goal here is to save that. So if you got something similar, then uh, we'll give that a shot. So clearing the first floor will give you the equipment, so obviously they're going to be not awakened. And you got to use these yellow pyramid pyramids to uh, awaken them. So that's the only real thought I have is the first floor. Um, beyond that, I, I'm kind of just winning it. So this floor is a little bit dangerous because the Tom Berry's the stop. I don't quite remember how long that Tom Berry range is. So you can hit, you can hit my ninjas. Hopefully, they don't get stopped. These dragons also do silence, so be a little bit more careful. Ooh, okay, good dodge. Not the best of positions here, but I'll have to do okay. Move to this side. Huge after I do. Wait, what the? Oh, I can't hit all three. This is where hate sometimes comes in useful, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so my two physical units are now maxed. 
AP, and I will use Roy to finish this guy. That will spawn with three. They didn't quite spawn where I thought they would, but we'll have to do that. I wonder if I can kill them here. Perfect. Probably three kills. I have like a spinning Do I want to use my limit burst to save one turn? Okay, so I still have 42 turns left and I've completed stage 2, wave 3. I'd say this is going pretty well so far. And again, more of these pyramids. You do get an antler here, which is great for transcending uh, some of your favorite units. Here is where things start getting a little bit tricky. So remember correctly, I'll talk about the reinforcement wave first. They spawn on this side. There's going to be Naya, no, Nasha here, and then there's going to be more uh, reinforcements down the stairs and I think another unit right here so the crystals look very enticing but it's it's not something that I would say you know go 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 grab and grab These thieves are just going to come up, so I'll wait for them to come up. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to move Roy so that they don't stand apart like that. So something to keep in mind. I do it for either. I have massive AOEs to make up for it. So I know they're gonna die soon, so I'm gonna start moving my way over there. And these guys are gonna probably do this. If it's kind of running a little bit here. So that's a bummer. So I can only kill one of them. Okay, that's slightly wasted turn, but not a terrible deal. This one does the barrier, so if you got a barrier break, definitely do that. So, barrier brick. 
very useful here. The rats will come here and let you heal you down. Thermal exposure, probably. Yes. I wonder if I can do a Farag right here. Oh no, I used them all. Um, what is this? Crappy? Yeah, let's kill that one. And if we see if we can auto this guy. Hit their back for more AP. Right. Get back for more AP or just finish. Just finish. Oh no, the rat's gonna move. I'm so bad at this game. Alright, so. Stage 3, wave 5 clear with 22 actions left. This is probably the best one so far. More pyramids. Let's keep it rolling. Let's see what happens. So, this is where it gets ugly because of carbon coal. And they do a lot of AoEs, so. Um, yeah, watch out for reflect. And I swear to God. I'm not gonna get hit by a reflect this time. Or maybe I will. Because I'm so good at this game. So this is kind of the go 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 time. I'll just wait for them to come. Out. Oh wow! I, actually, I'm okay with that because if they move slower, I don't really mind. So those guys all got reflects, right? Let me just make sure. Reflects, reflects. So Roy, you're kind of useless. Then why don't you take care of the lizards for me? This guy's not reflects. Just do a crazy amount of damage. I may have messed this up. Just to slow down my units. Yikes! Okay, not very good so far. But I wasn't. Because of the slow kind of messed me up. I wasn't expecting that. And I mean, they move pretty fast too. Oh, he has reflect. This is reflectable. That was my goal, so at least I got that. Sorry. But I think I'm, I messed this up, yeah. Because the slow. Oh my god. Ah, 
god damn it. All right, kind of messed up there. So hopefully, Team A can swoop in and uh, do the rest. So I know they're gonna spawn to my left and to my far right. I'm just gonna get ready for that. Oh, they don't find the oh, they spawn in front of me. Aha, I'm stupid. Yeah, my original idea was to have Roy do the courage removal, but I'm okay with this. It didn't reflect. So this one does silence, uh, that's why I have stern there, you kind of just take the hits. Actually uses quite a bit of AP, so Maybe that. I'm gonna save a bit of Stern's AP. Or skills I should say. Just a little bit closer. Oh, I'm so stupid. Reflex. Oh, they picked up. Let's do that. Not a, not a lot of damage, but mostly damage to each other. I'm super good. I'm actually out of the right? Alright. Oh, it didn't kill him! Oh my god. Really sloppy plays, but you know it is what it is. Forty-three turns left for the last stage. I should be okay if I didn't completely butcher this this wave or these two waves, I should say. So this one is a little different. 
We got Big Boy Moraga here. The reason why I've marched is because there's Lamia, there's Confusion, and or Charm, I don't quite remember. And I don't want to move turn 1 because I want to move turn 2. Hopefully they'll be kind of grouped up. Yep, there you go. Raga also kind of grouped up. Um, not that guy, okay. No matter. Also, yeah. no that, that's really okay. Next wave has a uh, frostbite, so that's why I'm just kind of getting ready for that. guy first. Has he killed my...
Ah. Get out of here. Alright, so that means 13 turns for the last boss. I should be okay. the light chain going. That's it. So even though I completely butchered some of my original plans, looks like I'm still able to finish this with a few tips. Um, so hopefully some of the tips here were useful definitely don't do what i did um but again you guys know already i wing a lot of these things so yep first time completion yeah so i wing a lot of these things so things are bound to happen but hey at least i didn't get reflected this time on the video so that's pretty good all right yes i don't know who that is i didn't read the story uh, okay, so uh, why don't we check the equipment out? So now that I've cleared all 10 floors, I'm able to max both. And there is no equipment crafting event running, so we're going to do this and see if it needs seals. Yeah, it's gonna be serious. Do I care about missing 10 HP? No, I don't. But this one probably also needs seals. Just a little bit. All right, so that's it. Um, to be honest, not the most fun content, um, but honestly, I don't know what to me can do to make it more fun, to be honest. Uh, that's it, thank you for watching, and I wish you best of luck farming the Chamber Farms slash, what the hell is it called? Legendary Reliquaries.